Timothy. What? I'm gonna put you in the mouth. I'm gonna put you. Across the narrow sea. I have nowhere else to go. You have everywhere else to go. But wait! <laughs> Probably still soaking yeah. wet. Probably tired. This is the equivalent of crossing the Sahara Desert. Don't give up. You should have killed that man. Don't. Don't. No. Come on. <laughs> well, screw that dream. <gasps> Must be good food if it's crowded. I would hate to live in that time simply because of all the mud. Hey. Yeah, Padre. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <gasps> <gasps> Before we left, a maester gave you a raven scroll. You are becoming an observant young lady. My mother used to say, dark wings. Too dark bad she doesn't know either. An old saying. Inaccurate in this case. Oh, ten, I think. Too many. My lady, I don't think this is the right. Reggie's the horses. We only have one horse. Find <laughs> more. Okay. Did we not learn anything from the last time that you tried to take a stark daughter by force? Yeah, and that was just one guy. But that was the house. Don't see what all the fuss is about. Pretty big dude. I'm just saying, like, she ran in the other so direction. Much. It gives some men courage. Does it give you courage? Is she really gonna, like, fight to get to kill Baelish to take Sansa, though? Lord Baelish? Lady Sansa? My name is Brienne of Tarth. We've met with Randy Baratheon. What did he say about you? He said... Your loyalty to you free of charge. Someone appears to have paid quite a bit for it since then. Damn. Oh, please join forces. I would be really happy with this. Lady Sansa. Before your mother's death, I was her sworn sword. I gave my word I would find you and protect you. I will shield your back and keep your counsel and give my life for yours if need be. Oh! But what? Please, Lady Brienne. No need for such formality. That's the most important line. You were Captain Stark's sworn sword. I was. Strange. I knew Cat from the time we were children. She never mentioned you. It was after Renly's murder. Ah, yes. You were accused okay. of killing him. I tried to save him. But you were accused. By men who didn't see what happened. And what did happen? Either Bailey's or Shadow. He was really murdered short. by a shadow. A shadow with the face of Stannis Baratheon. A shadow with the face. <sighs> this woman swore to protect Renly. She failed. She swore to protect your mother. She failed. You're Why would I mother. want somebody with your history of failure guarding Lady Sansa? Why should you have any say in her affairs? Because I am her uncle. A 
married her Aunt Liza shortly before my beloved's untimely death. We're family now, and you're an outsider. Forgive me, Lady Brienne, but experience has made me wary of outsiders. Lady Sansa, if we can have a word alone. No. Please, my lady, if I could explain. I saw you at Joffrey's wedding, bowing to the king. Neither of us wanted to be there. Sometimes we don't have a choice. And sometimes we do. Fuck. You should leave. Santa Brienne's good news! We don't want our new friend wandering the countryside alone. The roads in these parts are safe. Why don't you stay? What? Hudson, oh, well, what the fuck? Alright, here we go. <laughs> Alright, here we go, guys. Don't she you dare, don't you dare, dare kill Podrick. She had no need to kill that guy. Well, Baelish basically was like... No, Baelish said you should stay. What, that kid you had in the ice place there? What, I would have taken this ice place. <laughs> <laughs> Rocky, you should stay. Podrick? Podrick? No, I'm fine. Bro, dare let him die for you. Don't you dare let him die. Podrick's gonna keep his own up. If you forgot how badass Brienne was, she broke somebody's sword into three pieces. Yes, my lady. You can stand up. Yes, my lady. Oh. threw a rock at the guy. I know. He tried. He tried. Stop. <gasps> oh, it walks like that. Is that Marcella's? There are only two like it in the world. The one I'm wearing, the one I gave to my son. It's a threat. Of course it's a threat. Our daughter's alone in dawn, surrounded by people who hate our family. It's a threat. No note. They blame us for the death of Oberyn and his sister, and every other tragedy that's befallen their cursed country. I will burn their cities to the ground if they touch her. Softer. What? That's loud. Our daughter's in danger, and you're worried I'm speaking too loudly. No, I can't know she's our daughter. Then don't call her your daughter. You've never been a father to her. If I was a father to any of my children, they'd be stoned in the streets. What was your caution brought? Our eldest child murdered at his own wedding. Our only daughter shipped off to dawn. Our baby boy is set to marry that smirking whore from High Garden. Shit. About the Mad King. The Mad King. You're here to remind me of my enemy's lies. Consider me reminded. Your Grace. Lies? I served in his King's Guard. I was at his side from the first. Your enemies did not lie. Tell Go him. on. He was crazy. When did she know her father too well? No, she was like a baby. Your father said yeah, the town's so... cast a flame. He murdered sons in front of their fathers. He burned men alive with wildfire and laughed as they screamed. And his efforts to stamp out dissent led to rebellion that killed every Targaryen. She needs to hear Except two. I'm not my father. Now, Your Grace, thank the gods that the Mad King gave 
his enemies the justice he thought they deserved. And each time, it made him feel powerful and right until the very end. I will not have the son of the Harvey executed without a fair trial. If she changes for the better, yeah. I could see her climbing back up. Oh, yeah. Like if she actually takes in like other people's consideration. Like what she's trying to build actually would sound like. Maybe she's better. There's a buck. Yes, best be careful. Are we gonna see the mountain right now? Oh boy. I really hope so. He's sitting on this small council. Do you want hand with the key? No, Uncle. Clearly it would not be appropriate for a woman to assume that role. I'm merely advising my son until he comes of age and chooses a hand for himself. Your Grace, I would be willing to serve provisionally as the King's hand until he becomes You're a good man, Lord Tymel, but I don't imagine you'll have the time. In addition to being master of ships, the King has appointed you master of coin. Oh, Your Grace. He called your experience and wisdom in financial matters unparalleled. He said he would be honored to have you represent the crown's interests in the same. The she knows they're grace. in debt, so she's paying the Tyrell in, in charge of coin. Occasions, so the crown may serve as the king's hand. The king uh, was named Kyburn, the new master of whispers. Of course, him, this, this man, this embarrassment to the citadel. You better say oh, right. like that to your new master. What qualifications can he possibly have for this post? The qualification of loyalty, Grand Maester. That's far more than the eunuch ever had. Far more than many ever have. I must say, I cannot okay. see how... In light of your position as commander of the Lannister armies, it would please the king Kevin. if you would serve as his master of war. No man living better deserves the title. That is kind of you to say. I would like to hear it from the king himself. The king is very busy at this moment. He should be here, learning what it means to rule. He is learning. On this occasion, in his capacity as ruler, he's asked well, me to speak on his behalf. I return to the capital to pay my respects to my brother. And to you. And to serve the king. I did not return to the capital to serve as your puppet. To watch you stack the small council with sycophants. Sending your own brother away so he wouldn't My brother trapped. has left the capital to lead a sensitive diplomatic mission. What mission? That is not with concern as master of war. Fuck. He I is... do not recognize your authority to dictate what is and is not my concern. You are the Queen Mother. Nothing more. Oh, you're gonna die. You would have got to dream that my father would ask the king. Just like that would never be the bastard wonderful again. He deserves this. You do. I couldn't be happier for you. I'm gonna refuse him. Oh, the only he belongs in Winterfell. I like brooding in the shadows. I swore about it in the Night's Watch. I don't take my own words Good seriously. Good for you, John. Who Winterfell would have been. Holy crap. Good for you <laughs> adhering to your dream and word. You think we were serving venison stew? <laughs> <laughs> Uh oh. <clears throat> Does anyone wish to speak for candidates before we cast our tokens for the 998th Lord Commander of the Night's Watch? Sir Alistair Thorne is not just a knight, he's a man of true nobility. Oh, shut up. He was acting commander when the war came under attack and led us to victory against the wildlings. Sam a veteran of a hundred battles has been a defender of the watch and the war guy? almost all Sam, of his life. you mind. say it. You say what you got to say. He's the only true choice. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, except Sam is going to be way better at talking. So Dennis Malister joined the watch as a boy Who and has served that loyally longer than any other ranger. Through ten winters he served. As commander of the Shadow Tower, Look at those brows. he the right <laughs> no. away. Each brow we rose like an back. extra half an inch every one day. If there's no one else, we will begin the voting. The triangular Sam. tokens Sam. come from Sir Alistair. Come on. 
the square tokens for Sir Dennis Marister. Each Mr. Raymond. Damn, Sam. Samuel Tony, go on. They only have two two yep. ship coins. Sam the Slayer. <laughs> Another wildling lover, just like his friend John Snow. How's your lady love, Slayer? <laughs> Her name is Gilly. But the Flint knows her quite well. They cowered together in the larder during the battle for the wall. Oh, nice! She is. Boy. Three girls, a baby, and Lord Janus. I found him there after the battle was over, in a puddle of his own making. <laughs> well, you still rap that Lord Janus was hiding with the women and children. Jon Snow was leading. Sir Alistair fought bravely, it is true. And when he was wounded, it was John who saved us. He took charge of the wall's defence. He killed the Magna of the Fens. He went north to deal with Mance Raider. No one who almost certainly meant his own death. Before that, he led the mission to avenge Lord Commander Mormon. Mormon himself chose John to be his steward. He saw something in John, and now we've all seen it too. He may be young, but he's the commander we turned to when the night was darkest. That was so good. Yeah! It's the only castle in Westeros uh, yeah. for their lord. I can't argue with any of them. But who does Jon Snow want to come at? Night's Watch? Or the Wildlings? Or Everyone both. knows he loved a wildling girl. Spoke with Mance Raider many times. What would have happened in that tent between those two old friends if Stannis's army hadn't come along? We all saw him put the king beyond the wall out of his misery. Do you want to choose a man who has fought the wildlings all his life? Or a man who makes love to them? I want to choose a man who's going to boost up my army by 100,000 people. It is time! Could have just dumped it out. I know. <laughs> oh, now I have to come up with a new partner. Interesting voting system. <laughs> is that last? Is that last week for drowning? No. No, that that last week. Like it appears to be a time. The old guy. Rose, goodbye everybody. Oh, sorry, Rock. Who are you? Who are you? Why were they scared of you? You lost this. You got that out of the water? Jackin? Yes! yes! Fuck yeah. You said there was no Jackin Hagar here. There isn't. A man is not Jackin Hagar. Is there only one of them? Well, who are you then? No one. And that is where Gomez must become. Oh! Ooh! I 
thought they were just going to do it anyways. Watch this thing fly around like burn just like bridges. Right. 